Hello dear students, good afternoon to everyone and welcome back in our biology period. So, up till last point we have discussed our one lesson that is what infectious diseases and how to prevent them. And in today's lecture or in today's session we will move for the next lecture or the next uh, lesson and the name of that lesson is what home remedies for simple ailments. Okay, so the, we will start today new lesson from the state board standard 4 and the name of the lesson is what home remedies for simple illness. So there are the different diseases that we have already discussed there are the certain infectious diseases okay but there are the certain diseases which are not infectious okay and for that diseases we can treat that diseases at home there are the certain uh, medicines are there or there are the certain home remedies are there that we can give for that particular disease and by doing that by following all that remedies we will get cure from the certain types of the disease okay so see in the picture what you can see that so there is one boy whose hand is fractured okay it is possible to treat this boy at home we can give the proper remedies for this at home no okay to get the proper cure or to give the proper treatment we have to go to the doctor okay so doctor what we will do doctor will plaster the infected or the uh, portion where it, is, where it is having the fracture okay so in this way there are the certain disease or there are the certain incidents for that we have to go to the doctor. We cannot treat that diseases at home. But on the other side, if we talk about the other side of the diseases, then there are the certain diseases that we can cure at home by giving certain treatments or by providing certain types of the home remedies. Okay. So let's discuss the first point that is what illness. Okay. So what is mean by illness? Okay. So, in our regular life, we are feeling very fresh. So, whenever we are half fit and fine and healthy, when we are having or we are feeling hungry, we are sleeping at the proper time, we are getting up or we woke up in the morning and that time we are feeling so fresh. Okay, means all our routine is going on very smoothly or very properly. But if you are having any type of the illness, if your body is get infected by any type of the disease or you are suffering from any type of the illness, then we our all routine are getting disturbed. We are not feeling hungry, we are not feeling sleepy also or we are feeling sleepy but we cannot sleep, sleep law properly because there is something is aching, if stomach, if stomach is aching, if head is aching then we cannot sleep properly. Okay. So, it means what if we are having certain type of the illness then we our daily routine is getting changed. Okay. So, that is the reason our body should be fit and fine. Okay. But still sometimes because of the changes in the weather, because of the change in the food, the, there are the certain changes in the different habits or it will change our habits then we also we are getting suffer from the different diseases okay so let's talk about the illness and which are the illness that we can treat at home okay so for that let's go in the story mode i will tell you about one story okay so there is one girl like you and her name is what Saku. so as we know everyone is like ice cream like that Saku is also likes the ice cream very much and she ate a lot of ice cream one day and on the next day what happened her throat started Paining, okay. There is a, uh, a very paining in her throat, okay. But what her mother is has done, she doesn't take her directly to the doctor. Instead of that, she has given the saku the warm water and told her to do the gargle of that warm water. And in that warm water, she has added certain amount of the salt, okay. So with the help of that salt, warm water, the saku has done the gargle for one and two days and after that she feel very okay or she feel fine okay the paining in her throat did stop but after certain days suppose elder sister fell ill and she was suffering she was running from the fever okay but that time her mother doesn't wait for any or she doesn't wait for more she directly took her to the doctor why this happens? Why there is a different in the treatment? Because suppose throat was paining, for that some home remedies are there. With the help of that home remedies, we can cure that disease. But 
suppose elder sister was suffering from the fever so we cannot give or there are the not proper home remedies for the fever at the home so from this story or what is the moral of the story why i am told that this story because with the help of this we can say that there are the certain disease that we can cure or we can treat at home but there are the certain diseases like a fever that we have to go to the doctor okay so this is about what illness so now let's discuss about one more story is there okay so as we know in the rural areas the farmers are doing for always they are working in the farms so there was a one farmer his name was what shipati he was doing work in his farm and one day what happened the one day one snake bite him okay but instead of taking the shipati to the doctors the villagers took him to the mantri okay and what the mantri has done mantri told to the shripati to sleep on the neem leaves and he started to speak the mantras okay so now it is the time to for you to think that is it okay by telling that mantras by sleeping on the neem leaves the snake poison we, we can stop the poison we can stop the spreading of the snake poison in our body no we cannot stop the spreading of poison in the body with the help of that mantras and with the help of that neem leaves to treat the properly or to stop the spreading of the poison in the human body we have to go to the doctor then the doctor will give us the anti poisoning injection or anti venom injection and by taking that only we can stop the spreading of poison in the human body okay so these are the some misconceptions are there still those who are going on in, in the some villages but we should tell that people that we have to go to the doctor instead of going to the different types of the mantras and all okay so these are the all these things now we are living in the 21st century okay there are the so many modern technologies are there there are the certain modern medicines are there with the help of that we can cure the any types of the disease or still the study is going on to find out the different types of the medicines okay but every time it is not necessary to go to, go to the doctor for each and every disease okay so there are the certain diseases that we can uh, easily cure at home or our elder people are there like our grandparents are there our aunty our mothers are there okay they know about how to cure some diseases at home and how they are telling like that if we will do properly then surely we will get the relief from the certain diseases okay so let's see home remedies so there are the certain home remedies for the cold So, if some one person or this any person is having the cold, or if any person is suffering from the cold, then instead of the going to the doctor directly, sometimes we can give the treatment at home. Or there are the certain remedies we can give at home. For example, we can say if we are having the cold, then we have to inhale the hot air, so hot water, steam. Okay. Or also we have to give the fermentation for our chest. Okay, hot fermentation for our chest. By this we can feel. okay or we will feel better from the cold okay next one is there that is vomiting if someone is having vomiting due vomiting due to the fever or due to the change in the food or food poisoning or due to the indigestion then instead of enforcing him or instead of forcing to that person eat eat it it should be sure tell that person don't eat for a while or don't eat so anything for some time and we have to give that person lemon juice or lemon we are telling that only what lemon sherbet okay so it will works properly on the vomiting too but in that case also if still that vomiting is doesn't get stopped then we have to go to the doctor same for the cold also if you are trying these remedies for two or three days but still the cold doesn't get stopped or you are still you are not feeling okay fine then you should go to the doctor okay next one is there what cut and small wounds okay so uh, so you are a small child and you are playing everywhere you are falling and you are getting hurt but sometimes if you are having small cuts or if you are having the wounds then we are not going directly towards the doctor okay instead of what our mothers or our elder people are doing they are cleaning that wound with the help of the antiseptic solution 
then we are putting certain types of the antiseptic creams on it if it is necessary then they are tying the bandage okay so in this way we can treat or we can give some home remedies for the cut and small wounds but if it is a major cut then we should go to the doctor like that we have discussed in the fracture for the fracture we cannot give the home remedy or we cannot treat at the home so first aid we can give for that but after that we have to go to the doctor okay so in this way there are the certain home remedies that we can give for the cold vomiting cuts and small wound but this is only for the two or three days and we can try it but still if that person is not feeling well then surely you have to go to the doctors okay so, so now let's discuss the next point that is what people who provide health services to society okay so let's see the service that take care of the health of the people and provides treatment for those who are ill is called the health services or medical service okay so there are the certain people or there are the certain uh, fields are there those who are working for the good or the proper health of the human being okay so that all services are called as what health services or medical services let's see again a service that take care of health of the people okay so in the service that take care of the health of the people and also provide the proper treatment for those who are ill also they are providing the treatment those who are not feeling well or those who are ill and that services are called as what health services or medical services okay so in the cities or in the big cities there are the hospitals are there dispensaries are there and clinics are there in that the people are getting proper treatment or the ill people are getting proper treatment if we talk about the villages then in the villages there are the primary health centers are there there the people are getting proper treatment if they are not feeling well and in the big cities there are certain municipal or corporations are there those who are running the certain hospitals okay so in all in all in all these hospitals or in all these health services the human beings are getting the proper treatment or the people in that area or in that cities are getting the proper treatment for their illness okay so this is all about today in what home remedies for simple illness we have discussed about the illness also we have discussed about the home remedies and also we have discussed about the people who provide health services to society so at the end of the lesson what we have discussed in that we discussed that there are the certain diseases that we can treat at home but for the certain type of the disease to give the proper treatment we have to go in the hospitals if we are having the colds and all then we can take the we can inhale the warm air or we can give the fermentation for the chest or fermentation for the chest okay so simple uh, diseases are there that we can easily cure at the home but for if it is doesn't get here one for two days then we have to go to the doctor okay so this is all about today we will meet in the next video now it is the time to tell you goodbye thank you